Hey YouTube, it's KShad22 here with a brand new video and this one's going to be on Visual Basic 2008 and it's going to be a follow up on the last previous video so if you didn't see the previous video be sure to go find it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to keep it in the description for the link because it, it should probably pop up on the side. But let's get started by opening up the YouTube project that we've been working on this whole entire thing. So let's go ahead and find the start page and let's X out of that. now. As before we were working on shelling a process. Well, we let's say we want to send a string to that process, then let's go ahead and try it. Or whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it or like explain this. But okay, let's say we want to shell and then we want to send a string. So we're gonna uh hang on. We probably want to add another button, have it say do both. Per both. Okay. So now what we're going to do is send string, which will say send keys, send keys dot send text box two dot text. So this is going to send a line of text to whatever application you just had opened up. Now let's say you want to perform both. We're going to copy this, copy, paste, and then we're going to add this right here. You gotta be careful because you have to, if you have too many send keys, you may run into a runtime error, and that is not good, not at all. So let's do a try action here, which I didn't mention, uh, which I didn't add before. Okay, so then we can go ahead and have that, and I just got a text, and it's my friend. Okay, so this is pretty much what we have down now. All these buttons have actions. Let's control shape. Control Shift S, which will save all of it. Now let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, Shadow 22, YouTube. And now let's go to our shell process. Enter. Whoops, sorry. Did not mean to do that. Oh my gosh. Enter. Now let's shell a. We don't even have to shell an application, I don't think. Hi. And that, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to happen. Uh, note, notepad.exe. Perform both. Then we should have one of these with high in it. Hmm. Well, you guys, I don't know what just happened. This is being very weird. Perform both. Yeah, well, anyways, I don't know why it's not working. Maybe I didn't add the code or something. But if not, well, it should work, you guys. Or, uh, let's see. App activate text. Box one dot text. Oh, text box two, text box one. Uh, which one is? Oh yeah, text box one dot text. And let's give it a try action, a silent one. So we're not gonna have it like display a message. So then we're gonna copy that right there, and let's add it to the end of each one of these. Cop X. Okay. So now we can give it a try. So okay, shadow twenty two. Uh what should it be? Oh yeah, YouTube. Go ahead and click shell process. Enter. And here we're gonna send a string wait. Notepad.exe. Send string. Hi. Perform both. And let's say until untitled dash notepad send string. So we have some kind of send string error. Uh, let's see here. 
send keys at send. Let's see what my uh, coding has to say. Send keys keyboard. Okay, we got a new code, you guys. <coughs> yeah, whoops, I just sneezed. That's fine. Wait, I don't know if that was right. Yeah, it was. So, any send keys, we're going to want to have that. So, control shift S. So, now let's go ahead and give this a try. Well, actually, we want to probably put. Wait. Shell. Hmm. Yeah, we want to put this one so it's at after it. So Control Shift S, click Play, Key Shadow 22. I'm trying to make this video faster, you guys, but it's not turning out the way I thought it was going to. Click Enter. I uh, let's say Notepad.exe. Hello. Form both. And let's untitled dash notepad send string so there we go okay so now we have a problem here once it's in text box one so go ahead and just for the uh, send keys you want to change text box two but yeah that's how you do this you guys uh, sorry about the little conflicts I had just a little bit of a logic error Really, nothing too much, but you can use the other send keys dot send if it's like in CMD command, uh, your command prompt. It definitely works with that. Like just depending on what you're using it for, I guess. If you're using it to type through an app such as Notepad, you would want to do the forms dot app activate or whatever it is. But definitely. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Next video, uh, I'm going to go a little bit more deeper with programming. So um, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.